traditional jail jobs like sewing mail bags are just to keep prisoners occupied. Now at least some of the work provides an interest in itself. Some prisoners even learn a skilled trade. But for most probably, the main advantage of work is to relieve the boredom of serving a long sentence. Because I, I, I come out with a five year sentence. Yeah. And oh, was that before? Was that before, was the five year sentence before you started working with Murdoch? Yeah. Right, yeah. right. And um, Murdoch said to me, You've been in prison? I said, Yeah. He said, Hmm. <laughs> OK, you, we'll have you. You're just leaving prison having served what you've done of a five-year sentence. What has prison done to you? It's made me um, more subdued in many respects because um, of what I've had to do to myself in order to cope with the sentence. Um, first of all, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty big shock to you. Um, and you you really feel terrible, you know. You just you just, it's just you can't you can't put it in words. But um, then you go through a sort of transition period where you decide to yourself, well, I've got it. I've got to come to terms with it. Teresa, mine. You be quiet. Teresa, I want to talk to you. Why this has gone on long enough? Twenty-two million records. Don't let me nothing. You are right, in? Fucking hell. Yeah. It's fucking. Fucking hell, Ian. Yeah, fucking Murdoch done it, the cunt. You've been involved in so many stories, like 40 front page stories. Yeah. And out of those 40 front page stories, roughly how many of those 40 stories were fake? All of them. I made it all up! <laughs> I made it all up. Anything you want to say to Murdoch? Quite frankly, every type of crime which you could almost think of, I've, I've been told in detail by inmates how to do it. Not because I want to do it, but it's the sort of conversation that goes on in prison. Years ago, when I was young, um, there was Ray Chapman, uh, Jerry Brown, all the News of the World reporters and Ian as their photographer. Yeah. And um, they come on to our manor and what they was looking for was people to um, make up stories. Well, what they did, they, Ray Chapman would come in with a script. He would pay people to rehearse the script with him. Yeah. And then once they had it off to pack, <laughs> he would then record it. So it seemed like a true interview, when in fact it wasn't. He'd bunged them a few quid, and these people didn't know what they was talking about, yeah. but they just read the script. They just read the script, got they read, paid. Got paid, and then he'd want photographs, because you had to have photographic evidence to yeah. prove the, the, the thing. So they would pay people. I mean, obviously, they paid me, yeah. and they paid a load of other people. And what we was was really acting a part. It was like theatre. I've got a, um, a guy called Roger, Roger Simpson. Roger Simpson. This is the guy, another journalist. Yeah. And he walked out when he saw Ray Chapman fucking his 15-year-old. Yeah. Uh, Paedophilia. Paedophilia. Paedophilia, yeah. Um, he, he knew Ray Chapman had done that. Ray Chapman. And Ray Chapman was... The guy you you'd worked with him before yeah. in the past, and what was he? Was he a journalist? Yeah, he's a journalist, news of yeah. the world journalist, Ray, yeah. Cha Ray Chapman. And this is this is the guy you're talking about, Gearbox Chapman, who yeah. likes he fucking likes to like just fuck him up with the gearbox. Uh, the gearbox, <laughs> gearbox <laughs> Chapman. So um, so gearbox Chapman, like you you was mentioning the paedophilia and stuff. So what what is well uh, what's chat what's Cha Chapman done? Uh, uh, I, I saw Ray Chapman. Yeah. Um, uh, that bird, he was only 15. She was 15. And, uh, and that's I, a girl you were doing a story on. Yeah. And what was that story about? Uh, the, uh, on the game at uh, King's Cross. Right, so she's a, she's, a, she's a bird, she's on the game, she's 15. She yeah. shouldn't be. You're doing a story on that. Yeah. And then he ends up knobbing it. I was a junior player in, in the NOW. I was a freelance um, a friend of Ian's. I met him on various jobs we used to do. Yeah. But my main 
co connection with the NOW was with, with, with Ray Chapman. And Ray Chapman, in many respects, horrified me because he was, if you like, he was the epitome of, of the news of the world. How can I put it? Um, yeah, culture. Culture, yeah. Yeah, what, Where, what you like, <clears throat> We do exactly, we, you know, we, as Chapman just said, we, we're the untouchables. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, we do what we fuck we like. He said, our, 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 our boss. I said, boss is who? who? Um, I mean, the, the editor. He said, no, 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 Rupert, Rupert. Yeah. He knows everyone. He knows presidents. He makes or breaks prime ministers, presidents, does everything. He runs a show. We can do what the fuck we like. We are the untouchables, yeah, man. Untouchable and I said, really, you really think that? He said, fucking right. He said, absolutely, 100%. Well, he must have... Uh, he must that was, have a, that was a culture. That was a culture. Yeah, and what was that? I mean, Ray Chapman, he was... Um, Ian was saying, what was he? Was, it, was he another just... Like, there was sort of... You had Ian doing the photos. He was a star words man. He was a you know he was a features writer. Uh, he was came up with some very big yeah. stories. I gave him a lot of big stories. He yeah. used to give me money for that or whatever. Then get me involved and get me up before the editor at the time and introduce me in various stories I used to do. Um, but he, he he's as an untouchable. He 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 did what he wanted to and he said do anything he likes. And that's screwing underage girl. Very proud of it. He was proud. Of and I was, I was a father of two kids, and I, I, I found it completely distasteful. Forty front page stories. You see this man here? He made them up for murder. This is the man here. Who was making it up for murder? Come and take his book. I'm serious. Come and take his book. This was Murdoch's right hand man. Look at you all ignoring him. You don't want to hear what he's got to say. You know why you don't want to hear what he's got to say? Because it's all in that book. Murdoch hired paedophiles. Yeah, Rupert Murdoch hired paedophiles. He knows. Because he fucking worked with him. This is what was really happening. Like the thing with Idi Amin's head in the fridge. Yeah. I mean, Jerry Brown and they was laughing about it. There was no head in the fridge. You know, it was just spoof because it sells newspapers. Yeah, yeah. Now, we used to get the Sunday newspaper when it come out and we'd laugh. We used to call it News of the Screws. Because not only was they screwing the people up who, who they were supposed to be representing, they were screwing each other. Yeah. I mean, it was they called it News of the Screws. It was the biggest sex, dope and alcoholic ring I'd ever seen in my life. Right? Yeah. All the reporters were either drunk, paedophiles, maybe, you know, all the sort yeah. of... Yeah, the, the news of the world nurse. Were yeah, they? All, all the filth they was writing about, they was doing it, but they weren't only doing it with the, the, the people they was paying, like the prostitutes and that they was paying, they was doing it with each other. I, I talked about photograph and, and got... the... the, the, the um, um, Hold the back up a bit square, or just so it's like more flat face on. I'll bring the back up. That's it. That's it, yeah. And, um, it's a, it was a build as a Sun exclusive. It was a, and, a very uh, big I, story. I, I, I said to Murdoch, uh, that's, this man ain't dead, you know. But he's been reported as laying there dead. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And he said, ha 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 ha! Well, he just laughed at it. Yeah. He said, Put her out. <laughs> yeah, so he, he, he blatantly knew the game's well. And uh, I said, Mob Justice, 17 killed in my... Most alive in Kentwe. Uh, yeah, and uh, I, I said, that, that's not true. He said, hey! So he, he just didn't give a toss? Yeah, no. Well, that was part of the culture. And what was the date on that, on that, Rog? Uh, we're talking about May the 22nd. 1980, and, and Murdoch was then very much the hands-on proprietor. Yeah. And, um, and that's got your name on there, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. byline on it, yeah, yeah. big byline and, on um, it. And when you came back from Uganda as a hero, this had been yeah. a big story, been reported and been referred by all the other newspapers, and another sort of uh, Mike Parker, um, Ian Cutler scoop. Yeah. A lot of the information that we're talking about today is reproduced in Ian's book, The Camera Assassin, which is available now and which is currently doing the rounds. The book's also been sent to the Prime Minister's office and we have here a letter 
from the Prime Minister's office acknowledging receipt. So hopefully the PM will get a chance to have a look at this book too. Ian Cutler has been called in. He pretends his Range Rover has broken down outside a modest looking house in West London. According to their red light contacts, this is a vice den operated by a woman called Paddington Peggy, who might sound more at home in the pages of the Beano, but who is scheduled for an unwanted helping of publicity in the news of the world. Despite Cutler's expertise, his cover seems threatened by a persistent small boy, determined to help him out of his self-imposed fix. While Cutler is forced into playing the part of a motorist in distress, Paddington Peggy takes the opportunity to limp away from the scene, intrigued rather than alarmed by the curious dialogue emerging from near the stricken Range Rover. By the time Cutler persuades his good Samaritan to leave him alone, it's too late. Paddington Peggy has made good her escape, leaving him to settle down with just his camera for company. We were being wanked off by girls in massage parlours and uh, and then it was all... I just found the whole thing was so fucking hypocritical. Yeah. And I thought... I said to Ian, I said, look, I, I don't really want to get it further involved in all this. I'm, you know... So you, walk, you, walk, you walked away? I'd really rather... And, 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 I'd rather, and I'll take me out of to you as well, mate. Well, no, I don't... You know, I, I, mean, I, don't, here, not mean, I don't deserve any accolades, um, but... The, the culture of deceit and we can do what we like yeah. led to obviously the hacking. Yeah. It was, you know, we do what we like and they yeah. did what they want. Yeah. You deserve better compensation for what's happened to you. Just justice, money, whatever it is. I also think here is contained, the first time I've seen it quite clearly, collusion between Mazza and phone hacking. And Mazza was doing bugging. Mazza was doing much worse things than phone hacking. Yeah. Buying drugs, selling people up. And there is a lawyer, if you could trust them, who's dealing with John Orford, for example, his case, trying to get that overturned. Yeah. This is Siobhan. Siobhan. I always call it Siobhan, because that's the Scottish way of pronouncing it, Siobhan. Mm -hmm. uh, she is dealing with a lot of cases of people who are quite traumatised people, Orford's trauma, mm -hmm. who've had a terrible time in Mazda's hand. Yeah. Because this fits in that area, I don't think she deals with phone hacking, I certainly think that element of the case, she may be worth talking to you, Judy. She's a great woman, she's fought against a lot of police injustice. Have you, have you ever met her? She does like she's on that list of because she's been she's pushed the Mazda thing basically, um, and because because it shows um, live you know a different form of hacking mm -hmm. and shows Conrad Brown. If you've got witness statements to that effect, she's been I think she's been dealing with her because there's a couple of people who fell out with Mazda. I wonder if Zorba was one of them. I mean, but he was the other guy, Kemmer. And a lot of people, Mazza had two police cases, investigations, Canopus 1 and 2, and two around about this time, dropped by the senior police officer because they were covering up. Yeah. Canopus 1 and 2. And I got the statements, exactly what he'd use. He'd buy drugs, he'd fit them up, he'd doctor the, the phone conversations, he'd get selected bits of video, and then wipe the rest, and then the police and police would take them. That's and right, it's that's a, right. Qua right. a quasi-prosecution. They put a combination in. So I would, there's almost a conversation from the police, mm. from, uh, from Essex Police. Yeah. Why on earth did they act on a third party using illegal interception? From a News of the World journalist, his real mate, this has been going on for six years, my life's been in danger, and I've watched you people do nothing about it, because you're involved. Not you personally, you know, you know what I'm saying, but as a whole, yeah, you can read it. It's proof of phone tapping, it's proof the police have taken illegal transcripts from Robert Kellaway, the journalist, who's lied about Millie Dale up. I'm asking questions, right? This is bigger than you trying to get me out of the way. This is my life, it's in danger. Have a look about. online and you'll see that the police have been trying to fucking kill me. Right. I want to talk to Pro Theresa May! Theresa! I want to talk to you! Why right. this has gone on long enough! 22 million records! Don't let me nothing! Don't let mean anything! You're gonna let this happen! 
We want Leveson too! Now! It's not going away! You can't treat people like this! Do you understand? Don't leave me out here! Don't leave me out here! Look with that! I know you can see it! I know you can see it! I'm talking to you. Go and get the commissioner. Go and get the commissioner. Now. I want to talk to the commissioner. Fuck these people. No, no, fuck these people. You ain't fucking doing this. Hold that for me. Yeah, no, someone had better have a word, mate, because I've got the police here taking on illegal transcripts. I've got police witness statements. And someone had better get their fucking ass out of here, because I've had enough of this shit. Get me the commissioner now! Don't fucking ignore me! What's this? It's right? for me, is it? That's for you. That's for me. Why are you called the old girl? Why, why, why can't I talk to the people in here now? Is that, I thought I weren't getting fucked about. Right, let's go here. Come on, let's have this. Hello mate. How you doing, you right? There you go. I'm not going to forget that, calling the old Bill on me. That is Scotland Yard. It's Harvey. It's Harvey. Listen, listen. Uh, the reason we've been called today, yeah... I don't, listen, I don't care. If you're going to nick me, if you're going to nick me, you can nick me. But this, uh, this problem ain't going away. What? Right? You ain't going to keep doing this. Uh, mate, I'll kick off. I don't give a fuck. 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 Yeah, but you're not going to help me. You're going to fuck me off. You're going to fuck me off. I'm not having it, mate. Go on, I'll give you a chance then. Go on. Go on. I'll give you a chance. Yeah, no, no. Like, mate, mate, listen. I'm, listen. I am, wait, I don't care. That says I'm right and everyone's ignoring me. That's why I'm shouting. People start acknowledging that. I'll stop shouting and calm down. So what's the problem? Brian, What's the problem? Brian, Brian, so, I've chatted to security now. Yeah. They're you wanted to speak to them. I want to, to talk to, to the commissioner the because I've got paperwork from the commissioner and I deserve to talk yeah. to the commissioner Brian. just like any fucking politician does. Brian. Now, you get no, go and get the commissioner and we'll sort this out because you lot having a gut at me ain't going to do no, it, no, no, mate. No, no, ain't going to do Brian, it. Brian, 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 no one is out there. <laughs> you at all, are they? Yeah, I can't they're... believe they've called you. That's fucking Scotland Yard and that's their paperwork. Brian. Look at it. Brian. Look at it. Look. Listen. Look. Look at it. No, I can't calm down. I won't calm down. No. No, I fucking won't. Right. Are you going to nick me? You can't achieve anything. Look, you're not going to achieve nothing. You're here to court over a fucking disturbance. Yeah. Right? You're not here to yeah. sort this out. I want to sort this out, so let me talk to the commissioner. No, it ain't. I want to kid. Look, if look, uh, let's, let's have this right. If you're going to nick me for a breach of peace, hurry up and do it. Because if you're not, I want to talk to the commissioner. Right. I sold 22 million records. I ain't fucking worked again since they've done that. And I want this sorted out because I can prove it 100%. Now, instead of that fucking standing there fucking about with me, tell them to get the commissioner out here. I'm not joking. Or it goes off and we'll go to stand a fucking nick. If that's what you want. If that's what you want, no! I'm not... Mate, don't know. No, no. I've had enough of this fucking treatment from the old Bill. The old Bill got my computers, mate. The old Bill come round my ass and took my fucking computers. We can't achieve anything if he's going to be like that. Trophy fell back, all right? Put a size 16s all over it, then I get it on the 10th. Hello, Glenn. I've just got the number from the police. On the 10th. He got, the, he got Dad's number from the police? Yeah. But he told everybody. And this is on record that you got it from um, a school children. School children. That's it, yeah. Well, now listen, so I'm not, they'll, go yeah. through, they'll go from fucking any angle, mate. Yeah, now listen. I'm not saying you got it from the police, and I know, of course you did, alright? But he's a registered police oh, informant. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I mean, how much more closer can you be, no. symbolically, yeah. alright? And then say, oh, they wouldn't have contacted me, and wouldn't oh. give me another. Of course, it'd be the first fucking thing you know? We talk about hacking. This is a, a violent, emotional invasion. You're destroying their lives because their nearest and dearest, as they perceive it, are betraying them because someone's giving them stuff to the papers that could only have come from them as they see it. That is a terrifying thing to do. It, you were in a bubble, uh, to use the world, where the objective was very simple. Just get the story. Just get it. No matter what.
Ah, no pasa. Hello, Greg. Yes. Hello, mate. It's Brian. Yeah, hi, Brian. How you doing, all right? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Are, you, are you all right to talk now, Greg, yeah? Yeah, no, I am, yeah. Yeah? No, cool. Um, yeah, so, um, I mean, really... I can't see... I, I can't see how you think I can... Sorry, did you just have to hang on a second? I should turn, yeah, go on, go on. Turn the, should I turn the radio off? Go on. Yeah, right, sorry about that, yeah. Yeah, go on, mate. Um, um, I, I'm, I'm just wondering how you think that I can assist you in in, in this. Well, I mean, all, all you can really do is confirm, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, look, I'm... What, I'm, you, what is it you want me to confirm? Well, look, Greg, you know what I mean? Kellaway's talking to you over his shoulder. You're the news editor at the time, so you're the one in the middle that makes his corporate, because... You're the one sending them to Chinkford to do this job. Now, you're going to know the truth behind this job, and they know they set me up. Why did they set me up, Greg? What, why am I being targeted? Who's behind the targeting? I personally, I'm not, even, I'm not even bothered about going for you, Greg. I want to know why I'm being targeted and who these people are and why it is. Has this got something to do with... Um... Look, just be straight with me, Greg, man, because I'm carrying on no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, no, I... So just to just play, just level with me because I'm not, you know, if you was me, you'd be the same. This is wrong what these people have done to me, and now I've got absolute proof against them. I'm watching everyone cover it up, Greg, and I'm not having it. I'm not having it, mate. I'm not having it. I'm going back to Downing Street, and I'm going to make that woman talk to me because this evidence here is overwhelming. Hey, everyone. I'm not here for no reason. Right, that's proof of phone tapping. It's all been theatre. All of it is theatre. That is proof. The Leveson Inquiry was theatre. That is the police taking on illegal transcripts from a News in the World journalist, and not just any News in the World journalist, the journalist that hacked Millie Darling's vote. Alright, just take a good look at it, everyone. To these people, we like to take a look on a nutcase. But the only way to get through is to scream and shout and show you the evidence. There it is. Right? There it is. It's not a man, man. It's real. It's real. Right? Remember that you saw this. All of you. With your camera phones. Film it. It's real. I don't I'm not I don't do this for the fun of it. Right? You've seen that now, you're supposed to act upon that. None of you are acting upon it. You like stand there and make me look like the nutcakes. It's wrong what you're doing. You don't you don't, you don't do your jobs. Why don't you do your jobs? Why are you protecting her with guns? Yeah, because she's a fucking criminal. That's why. That's the criminal in there. Fucking people, you make me sick. 22 million records. And you look at me like I'm a piece of shit. Fucking.
fucking wankers, mate! The evidence is there. Just go and get me someone that knows about the case and we can sort this out because you don't need to know. Of course I've reported it. I've been doing this for six years, mate. I've been in the claims. I'm in the fucking phone hacking claims getting fucking bossed about because I ain't got a solicitor. So who's the officer in the case that's dealing with you? There ain't no officer in the case. It's come from the solicitor that won my case in 2003 against the News of the World. Oh, okay, yeah, and I right. found out he's been working for them and Duncan Larkin from the News of the World. So right? Now, listen, what, they cut these what, notes. What from News of the World, then? Oh, fuck, what, man. I can't, no, I can't do this no more, mate. Sorry, this is really annoying me because there's nothing you can do about it. And there's nothing you can do about it. So I'm going to hang about so, it. But there's nothing anyone here right this second. It's Scotland Yard, mate! Listen, Fuck's listen, sake! Listen, no, get out of my way, man. Listen, get, no, get out of my way. Get out my fucking way. I've had enough of this shit. Right, are you gonna get the commissioner or not? Because now you've called the fucking police on me and you're the ones that are acting illegally, mate. You're the ones that are acting illegal. Illegal! Illegal! Listen, right. Don't keep touching me, mate. Don't keep touching me, please. Right, well, we'll arrest me then. Right, give us a statement, give us a statement. Right, okay. Let's do it, because you're going to pay me why you've done it, you know Brian, that, don't you? Brian, yes. Brian, would, honestly, listen to me. This is going to save you so much grief in the long run. Mate, I listen don't give a me. fuck anymore. If you're going to arrest Brian, me, you can arrest me right now. Ian, take my camera, I'm getting arrested. It doesn't matter who's in power, I have to do a job. Right, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah. I asked you a question. Are you, are you doing it? But are you, you know, listen, I've got That's a shout. Because none of you are listening. And it ain't funny, mate. Do you think child abuse is funny? Do you think the drugging and raping of children in the music industry is funny? Do you think the admission of a murder to a boy is funny? And he knows about it. He knows about it. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The problem that you've got, or they've got, is you've got Robert Kellaway on the 2nd of the 5th 02, transcribing all of his illegal recordings, supplied to him by Comrade Brown, his sidekick, another News International employee. And then at the same date, at the same time, you've got Glenn Mulcair over here, doing the mobile on the Thursday, 2nd of the 5th 02. You're both from the news of the world. You're all working together. Now, here's the thing. If Comrade Brown exclusively works with Mazza Mahmood, and Peter Dukes is right about that, then Comrade Brown is doing recordings of me for Robert Kellaway. Robert Kellaway is doing me at exactly the same time Mulcair's doing me. So, we've got a triangle of people here now. We've got Kellaway. We've got Mulcair. And we've got... Comrade Brown. So have I just tired Glenn Mulcair to the fake shake?